Welcome to the Cedra Smith analysis of a common source with a source resistor. So basically this is a follow-up to the first video. On the first video of the common source I had basically this connected to ground. Okay. So now we're going to have a resistor and that changes the gain. Okay. So you're going to have a RD and let's go ahead and connect a load. We'll call it RL. And this is the source resistor, which is something new. Okay. So we can go ahead and draw the small signal model. This is your gate resistor. Okay. And here you'll have your VGS. I'll exclude R out for now. Just to simplify things. Okay. Now, when you do a small signal analysis, all your voltages go to zero, except for the signal. This is an AC signal. Okay, so since this is a DC signal, that goes to ground. So that's why this is grounded to that. So basically, these two are, are in parallel. Okay. And then this node will be your out, V out. Okay. And this current source is uh, GM VGS. And you'll have to notice that the current flows that direction goes through RE and then it flows back through these two. Okay. So when it flows up you get a negative and a positive. So this voltage should be negative, meaning that it's gonna be a an inversion, not necessarily that it's going to go in a negative direction or in a, like a negative 10 volts, but that it's an inversion. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so I'd like to define VGS and I separate. G V S. Okay. So so by inspection we can see that V G is connected to V N. Okay. Oh, uh, before I continue question. Okay, since there's theoretically no current, what would be the purpose of adding a resistor at the gate? Okay, so I'll let you ponder that for a while. Okay, there's actually a practical reason that uh, some people add a resistance, and there's another reason. Uh, sometimes the polysilicon. Uh, which makes up the gate has a minute a uh, little bit of resistance so you end up with maybe uh, resistance in the 10, 10, 10 ohm range okay. but anyway let's continue and we so this is VG VS so VS 
is going to be it's going to be GM VGS times write that times R S. So this current is going to develop a voltage, and that voltage will result in Vs. Okay. So now we put Vgs together. RS. Okay. So we need to solve for VGS. So we bring this to the other side. So we should have VGS 1 plus GM RS divided by VN. So you should get VGS in one plus GM RS. Okay, so now we have it defined properly. Okay, so now let's go to the output. Okay, and what we can do is we can combine these resistors. Just add, write one resistor, and just say that it's RD in parallel with RL. Okay, and of course you're going to have current, and that's going to be GM VGS. Okay, and like I said, since it's flowing up, that would be negative positive. So we can write an equation for V out. We say that it's going to be a negative and it's going to be GM times VGS times the resistance which is RD in parallel with RL okay. so we're almost there now we substitute that in there Minus GM, and then we can say it's VN RD in parallel with RL one plus GM RS. Bring this uh, RN to the other side the left side so you have one GM RD RL one plus GM and RS okay so this is should be the exact equation okay now if both of these resistors even RS if they're higher uh, as uh, in comparison to GM and let's say GM in this case they're the same and let's just say that this product and these products are higher than one then the one you can disregard okay and the GMs cancel so you end up with and I'll put with the approximation you can approximate that it's RL no RD in parallel with RL divided by RS okay and let's assume you didn't have an RL you just had a uh, drain resistor well then the gain would be RD RS okay so that's these two equations are approximation 
function. And this one should be pretty easy to kind of calculate. All you do is look at what RD is and divide by RS and you got it. Or if you have an RL, just find out what the two combination is, what's the parallel combination, divide by RS and you got your gain. Okay, so hopefully this will help you out uh, in the, doing a fast calculation. You can either use the exact or you can use the approximation. Thank you for watching.